Hello friends and welcome. Today we're making a door hanger. You will need the ornament sign from Dollar Tree, some small round wooden blanks, also in ornament form, felt stickers, I use the bows, some red sticker letters, gold gems, some twine, a glitter marker, and you'll need paint in red and gold. So let's get started on this fun project. Now on these Dollar Tree items that have glitter on them, I like to use the back side. It's already smooth and pretty. So rather than fussing with getting all of this decor off the front, I'll just pry off this piece very easily. It comes right up. Decorate this side and then reapply the piece here on the back. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to paint the back side of this Dollar Tree ornament shape. Now I've decided to paint the base color of this ornament in the Waverly Chalk Paint in Crimson. I like this. It covers very, very well. So we're going to put one coat on here and see how that does. I decided to paint these little ornaments that hang down in some gold metallic because I have this Crafter Square metallic marker from Dollar Tree and I love it when it's put on any item. It shows up really, really pretty. So I'm going to color in this top with these markers and then I thought I would try to mimic that color here on the little ornaments that are gonna hang down from the larger ornament. So I have this uh, metallic paint and it is in a uh, champagne, I believe. Yes, this is Champagne Pearl. So I think I'm gonna try this one and see if it works. If it doesn't, we can go with this bright gold color there. Both of those are Craft Smart paints. So I feel like this is going to mimic the most. I usually paint a little bit on the top of my paint lids so then I know what it, color it is once you paint something. So that's a cute little hack for you. So the first thing I want to do is paint, or at least color in this with this marker. And you'll see what I mean. I hope it shows up on camera because it is so pretty when you use this metallic marker. I think it's gonna be okay with the one coat. You can see the little glimmer there. So I'm gonna let these dry and then we'll paint these tops. But in the meantime, what I want to do with the larger ornament, now that it's dry, I just like to dry brush some gold across this ornament, just to give it a little more dimension. And I think that would be pretty with the gold ornaments on top. So what you do is you just take a lot of your paint. Let's just flip this over here. Doesn't take the paint, dab it off. Then you just lightly go over your ornament. Hey, see how that see how that shows up just a little bit? It just gives your ornament just a little bit more dimension instead of just a flat red background. And now that these ornaments are dry, I'm just gonna come in and do that top. With that same marker that I did the top of the large ornament. Okay, so we're ready to glue the pieces back on to our large ornament frame, and I just use my glue gun here. I'm going to place the ornament topper hanger, I guess is what you'd call that, on first. And I guess since I turned it over, it's not quite a perfect fit, but that's an easy fix. You just come back in there and get those little red parts that are showing. Now it's time to put names on these little gold ornaments that we painted. And I thought these pretty glitter stickers would be perfect. I have no idea where I got them. I don't even have the original paper anymore that they were in. But these are glitter and I think they would show up very pretty on these ornaments. So I'm going to place the names of the three people in this family on the ornament and I'll show you what it looks like. I've completed the names, 
of the mom, the dad, and the child. And I thought maybe we should have something more of a little 3D element. And Dollar Tree's got some cute sticker bows. I thought how cute would those be placed right there on the tops of the ornaments. So we'll place those little stickers on each ornament. And then as a final touch, since the bow is kind of flat, how about we just put one little gem right there in the center of each bow from the little Dollar Tree gems. Just peel that sticker off. Stick it right on that ornament. And these little gems are sticky backed as well. You just like to place a little bit of glue on the gems because they tend to get caught on things when you're packing them away. And there we go. So I'm just going to do the other two and we'll be ready to adhere them to the ornament. Now, I was, uh, as I was looking at this bow, I couldn't figure out what these two little ribbons here in the center were because I see the bow and the two tails off the bow, but I'm not sure what those center ones are. So I decided I'm just going to clip those center ones right off because I'm not really sure what they are. There, now I think that looks more like a bow when I put the little gem on. Oh, now you can decide which bow you like the best, but I definitely like this bow, so I'm gonna cut those little tails off the other two bows. So I finished the bows, and I think I like the placement the way I have them here. Of course, you can have multiple family members. This family has three. So now, before we attach the wood pieces, we need to make some little hangers that are going to come up and out of this top piece here. So I thought something cute would be this really pretty gold and white string that I've got. So I'm just going to cut some string. I'm gonna make sure I get it long enough. Then what I like to do when I'm hanging something, I think it's a, a pretty finished way to hang it, is I like to put a loop through the top and then pull my hanger. If you can see, that just makes a little bit prettier of a finish there. So we're going to have Vic a little bit high. Then we need to do a little bit longer one for Jeff. Do the same thing. You just bring your loop, you, you fold your string in half, and you bring your loop through the little ornament hanger. Then you just grab the string and pull it through and attach it that way. So then we'll have Jeff down there. And we need to do one for Lily. I'll show you one more time. Fold your string in half. Come through the hole. And go back and grab your string. Pull that through. Now we're going to attach these as if they're hanging from this upper piece here. I guess it was a little premature in <laughs> gluing down the top. So let's take that top right back off while we glue these strings up here and on it. Now I like to keep them, I like to keep them straight right there under the glue. So what I wanna do is attach it up here at the top first. Under where that hook is gonna go. And once we've hooked it at the top, you can pretty much pull it straight down and glue this ornament down on the bottom. And you pull it straight so it's nice and tight and then glue that right down. Next we'll do Vic, because he kind of overlaps the little boy's name a little bit. 
So what we're going to do is attach it at the top first. Make sure you pull it down all the way so that it's nice and tight. And then glue that down. I'm doing this upside down, so I hope it's coming out straight. <laughs> And the last thing we need to do is Lily's name. We'll put her right there. Glue the top first. And we'll just trim up our strings here at the top. a little ornament hanger back there on the top. Hold that down till it dries. Here's where we are so far. Now, as I look at it right side up, I feel like maybe there's some empty spaces throughout that might need a little more decor. So, I have some of these little stars just to fill in some of those blank spaces. It just kind of fills in those blank areas on your door hanger. So, there we go. I really like it. I hope you like it. Now all I want to do is just coat this over with some Mod Podge and it's ready to hang up on the door. I want to thank you for crafting with me today and until next time, so long.